Okay, so in this recent tutorial, we will take a look at how to automate tracks, how to create automation on a melody line, for example, in order to make it a bit more alive. So we start by creating an instrument. Subtractor, for example. So, what I want to do is uh, automate this filter to make it go like this. So, the first thing I got to do is record the melody. And loop this and put the recording on quantized notes during recording because I seldom play perfectly to the beat. And I put pre count and click. So here we go. Yes, and now I want to manipulate the filter to make it sound like this. I put it where I want it to begin, which is probably there. And then I right click right on top of the filter I want to edit and click edit automation and here you can see a new track just popped up right underneath the melody line and you will see this is highlighted with a green square which indicates that it's automated or ready to be automated or rather both of them <laughs> so then we will record and manipulate this as the recording goes. Now you can see it's doing it by itself, which is very nice. And you know, if you want to automate automate more than just one, you're free to do that. You can automate how many you want. So let's say I wanted to automate the one beside it as well. Make it sound crazy. And I can do that. Right click again, edit automation, and a new track pops up, and we begin. Like that. Now they are both alive. And if you're not happy, then uh, do not despair. You can still change it. So if you, if I'd like to say change the second one, I can simply double click this line. And you can see here that I can manipulate it. You can just drag this around. Make them be exactly how I want them to be. I can also delete them. So, now am I forgetting anything? I don't think so. So, that's automation. Have a great day.